Cruise News Time and good morning from the Carnival Paradise. More specifically, good morning from Nassau in the Bahamas. We just made port here. You can already see we have passengers making their way to Nassau. It looks to be a calm and beautiful day here. However, over on the Gulf Coast of Florida, I don't know that that's going to be the case as Tropical Storm Idalia starts to churn her way toward my house. I'm left with some lingering questions this morning. I've got cruise news for you, but I also have to answer the question, will I get stuck at sea? Let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views for your face. And like I said, the question swirling around my mind is, of course, uh, will I be stuck at sea? Probably more specifically is what's going to happen as the storm approaches the port of Tampa Bay and the storm approaches where I live just north of Tampa. We're going to talk about all that stuff, but I do have some cruise news that we do need to process through. First, let's do a follow-up to the story yesterday about passengers that are on the P&O Britannia. I told you yesterday how the Britannia broke free of her mooring. She slid into an oil tanker and now they've assessed the damage and they've determined that there is enough damage that not everybody on that cruise ship can sail home with the Britannia. Some passengers will need to be disembarked and flown home. That's primarily because some of that damage that occurred on that cruise ship was damage to the safety equipment, damage to the lifeboats, those kind of things. So they're going through a process of determining which passengers will be disembarked and flown home. The rest of the passengers will sail home with the Britannia. Cruise news story number two, we have been tracking along with MSC's new luxury cruise ship, the Explora One, as she's been making her way around Europe with anticipation of Explora one coming to North America later this fall for fall and winter sailings. Well, earlier today, Explorer One made her first port of call ever in Southampton. This is a big deal when cruise ships go to cruise ports for the first time. The harbor master, the officials there, they have a ceremony where they do some sort of exchange. The next time you're on a cruise ship, see if you can find the wall that contains all the different plaques that the cruise ships have. Here on the Carnival Paradise, there's this nice enclosure that has some of the plaques, but these are the kind of mementos that are exchanged. These exchange ceremonies when a cruise ship goes to a port of call for the first time. And excitingly, the MSC Explorer has been making her rounds and she's added Southampton, Southampton to her port of call. Now, Carnival Cruise Line made a huge announcement yesterday announcing details about their new port in Grand Bahama. They gave it a name. They released some details. I'm going to tell you all about that. But first, let's take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's show, Private Internet Access VPN. Today's episode is sponsored by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access is a virtual private network or VPN for short. It is an important tool that safeguards your internet activity by hiding your IP address and passing your internet data through an encrypted tunnel. Simply, Private Internet Access VPN hides your sensitive data from prying eyes. Now, PIA VPN is also a tool that will allow you to access your stream entertainment from anywhere. Say you're right in the middle of re-watching all of the episodes of the American version of The Office, that's what she said, and you found yourself on a trip to Japan. Well, Netflix in Japan does not stream the American version of The Office, but with PIA VPN, you can connect to a server back in the United States and never miss an episode. Private internet access is the world's most transparent VPN provider. They never record or store your data. They have 24 by seven support and they allow you to try the service risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. With support for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android, Private Internet Access provides coverage for all your devices with just a single subscription. Be it your mobile device, your laptop, your tablet, and more, Private Internet Access VPN has you covered. Many of you watching the show, just like me, travel a lot. You find yourself in countries and cities around the world 
and you're constantly connecting to public Wi-Fi. Well, the PIA VPN gives me peace of mind knowing that I'll be able to do all of my internet activity without the worry of hackers and thieves having access to my private data and my personal information. Of course, private internet access has a great offer for you, the local fam. By clicking my link in the description, you can get 83% off your subscription of private internet access. That's just two dollars and three cents a month and and you get four extra months completely for free thank you private internet access for sponsoring today's show all right carnival has named their new cruise destination in the bahamas their very own cruise port in the bahamas and they've given it the name celebration k clearly clearly the name is celebration key that's why they spelled it k-e-y this whole k key thing is uh well it will plague me for the rest of this story but just know on the front end that, uh, yeah, I, I've just now recognized that they took the confusion out of it by just spelling it K-E-Y. So celebration key. All right, here's the rest of the deets. Construction on the destination started around 15 months ago, and this is really starting to be the first information that we're getting about Celebration K. This destination is located on Grand Bahama, about 20 miles to the east of Freeport. What's exciting is this destination will have docking facilities for two of Carnival's largest cruise ships, the XL class cruise ships at the same time. They anticipate hosting over 2 million passengers a year, and it will be a place that has a Bahamian flair in addition to all of the fun type things that Carnival offers. There's not a ton of information out there as to what the amenities will be. Carnival is promising more information about Celebration K when it opens up the book bookings for the destination in late September 2023. I just realized, I don't know if I'm supposed to call this thing Key or K. I've, I don't know what I've called it the whole time, but Royal Caribbean's Perfect Day at Coco K, which that rhymes, which means it's wrong because I think it's supposed to be Key. Is this Celebration K, Celebration Key? I don't know, but I think the idea is for Celebration Key K to compete with the Perfect Day at Coco K. It'll be interesting to see if Carnival has like a swimming pool and has water slides and all that or whether it will just primarily be a beach location it will be interesting to see looking forward to hearing more information from carnival about this all right now let's talk about tropical storm idalia she's already causing impacts to cruise ports and to airports and to cruise ships the first story there is the Carnival Conquest was set to do a Western Caribbean sailing with stops in Key West, Florida in Cozumel, Mexico. Well, the Conquest leaving out of Miami has been diverted. It will not go over into those Gulf waters. Instead, it will come down here to Nassau. It'll be going to Nassau and Bimini, essentially doing the itinerary that I am on right now and then returning to Miami. And so the Conquest staying out of the way of this storm over on the Gulf Coast. Last night, we got a message that the airport in Tampa was shutting down at midnight last night. It will be closed all day today. We found out that the county that we lived in, they shut down their offices for today, possibly for tomorrow. And Port of Tampa has essentially shut down in anticipation of the storm. The storm will still be off the coast for most of the day today, but it will make landfall early tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning. The current predictions for the storm is that it will make landfall somewhere right in the curve of the panhandle, possibly impacting the Port of Tampa, possibly impacting Spring Hill, Florida, where I live, and then making its way across the state with potential impacts to Port Canaveral and the Port of Jacksonville. Somebody commented on the show yesterday that they thought it was wild that I was out cruising during hurricane season or out cruising when there were storms. As you can tell, and I'll show you another shot of Nassau today, it's beautiful over here. The cruise lines are very good at keeping you out of the storm. I feel like one of the safest places you can be during a hurricane is on the sea. Uh, if you're on a ship that's, of course, on the coastline, if it's docked somewhere, that's very dangerous. But if you're on a cruise ship where you have a full vessel of, you know, seafarers taking you to places where the storm isn't, that's pretty good. 
the only thing that becomes a risk when you are out at sea when storms are bearing down on your home port or your home is that you may not be able to return there. I've run into a couple people on this cruise already that said they were on a cruise last year that got extended because of the hurricane. They had to stay out another day or two as the storm cleared out. That could be our situation. If the storm hits in Tampa on Wednesday, it could be fine by Thursday when we get back or if it actually hits the port of Tampa and causes some sort of challenge, then we may have to reroute to a different port. Uh, we may have to stay out later. My preference is not to be stuck at sea. I really hope that this storm blows through and that the port of Tampa is not impacted. Interested in getting back to my house and seeing how the house does. We've been through several storms in that house. It does pretty well, so I don't have a high level of concern, but um, you know, you never know. But what I do know is that we will probably know more in 24 hours. Let me kick it over to you. Have you ever been stranded at sea? Do you have a great story about a couple extra days on a cruise or not a great story about a couple extra days on a cruise? Leave a comment below. Boom, that is your cruise news. Thank you so much for watching the show today. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. A big thanks to Personal Internet Access. And well, I've got some ship spotting to do. There's a lot of ships in Nassau today. Plus, I got to look at that new terminal. So uh, yeah, let me get out of here. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.